Alright, how pretty. Today is a slightly unusual but hopefully fun printing activity. And for this, I'm going to need you with an adult's permission to go into the kitchen and see if you can find some washing up liquid. Because today we're going to be printing with bubbles. Let me tell you how. For this you're going to need a cup and a straw that's essential and I've got a teaspoon of fairy liquid to which I add a teaspoon of water and next a teaspoon of acrylic paint or you could use printing ink that would work really beautifully. Mix them well together. Then using your straw you're going to start blowing bubbles. The bubbles I'm transferring by holding the cup quite low and close down to my paper. I've used quite thick cartridge paper, watercolour paper would work too. Anything that can hold liquid. But you could also blow the bubbles up to the top of the cup and then press the paper on top to catch the bubbles at the rim. Either way works. And what you can see happening as the bubbles begin to pop is that the impression of their shape is captured in ink in paint and lots and lots of different sizes and different forms. I, I absolutely adore these as a starting point for further um, creation. Um, you could decorate, you can add colour, you can work with finer tools like oil pastels, pencils um, and of course you can add additional colours into the mix. So I might want to pink it up a little bit. For this next suggestion, I'm going to show you using the same combination of water and washing up liquid, how you can drop your colour into the plain bubbles. I'm not really thinking about the form that they're taking, I'm just spreading them across my three page. And then you're going to need a paint dropper, you can have a pipette or you could use marbling ink. Uh, a pipette dropped into watercolour, liquid watercolour and then just randomly begin to plop your colour around. The bubbles will naturally want to resist the paint but in places the paint you can see seeps down through into the wee cracks and spaces. Now I'm going over it with my yellow and that is really a lovely complement some of the splatters, the incidental, accidental splatters that happen around begin to give my abstract artwork more energy, more life. Filling up the space here with some more bubbles to which I'm going to add further plops of colour. Oh, it's really got a mind of its own. A little bit of water and a little bit of washing up like it goes such a long way. I think you'll agree because I've still got a lot of mixture in my cup. If you wanted to at home, you could try doing this inside a big tray. That would be a clean option. A few spritzels of decoration around the side. And this is already a moving, living, growing artwork. A bit like some of us saw at the Hayward this year. Gorgeous in itself, but equally fascinating if you then move the page around, bend it, tip it, and see what journeys your abstract work creates. Have fun experimenting, everybody.